Okay, welcome to Millennial Housewives Stay St Sane as a Stay-at-Home Mom interview series where we are showing stay-at-home moms that we are all in this together. We are strong, smart, and savvy and just trying to figure out what it means to have it all. I'm Tessie and today I'm interviewing Katie Pickett from Kate's Web Design Studio. She has over three years professionally designing websites and marketing businesses. She began coding, designing, and studying UX, which is user experience, um, while blogging in Norway. And the weather was frighteningly cold, so she sat behind the computer learning, analyzing, and creating her blog. The light bulb turned on when she realized that the same principles are used to create pr profitable websites and build online brands. She is raising three rambunctious little boys, and uh, she starts her mornings early and does most of her design work in the late evenings when her mind is eager for creative outlet. So welcome, Katie. Hi, thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. I'm so glad to have you here. Can tell us a little bit about yourself and how you became a stay-at-home mom. Oh gosh, well, when I met I met my husband working at a coffee shop, so I was working there. And then at the time, um, gosh, we started dating and everything, and you know, you just kind of said, "Oh, sorry, this is little David." <laughs> By the way, <laughs> that was such a new <laughs> I'll, I'll turn him around for just a second, and then he'll kind of. Um, this is what it's all about being a stay at home mom. I know this is what being a millennial housewife is like. But anyway, so we were dating, and I was working while we were dating, and then we got married and got pregnant. And then I think it's as soon as you have or you're going to have your first baby that you start really thinking about staying home. You're like, oh gosh, you know. And sometimes you're like, oh, I can go back to work, no big deal. Or you, you plan it out in your head until you actually have your baby or you're close, and you're like, you know. I don't want to leave them. I don't want to have to go away, but you still want to contribute financially and you still want to use your brain. You know, you still want to use your skills. And I went to school and graduated with a degree and then you're like, well, I still want to, you know, tap into that somehow. And, um, and so then I was thinking about my skills and what I could do working at home. And that's where my husband really encouraged me to do web design. So before I had my first one, I started practicing, learning, getting more into it and really starting to build a client base. And that was about, now he just turned four. So that was like four and a half, five years ago, now that I started doing that. Um, and then once I had him, you know, I just stayed home and did that. And it really, you know, I've never really looked back. I've re I really enjoy it a lot. And um, that's pretty much how I got to stay at home and also being able to help too. <laughs> yeah. That's really wonderful. I know that. I mean, that's how it is for a lot of moms. Is as soon as you have that that baby in your arms, you're, you can't really imagine going back to work. Oh, no. Not at all. I, I was the same way. I had kind of planned on going back to work, and then as soon as I held my daughter, I was like, I can't do it. I just can't do it. <laughs> you don't want to leave them. And yeah. So, you know, it's just kind of comes with the territory, I think. But that's what's really cool about being a millennial mom is there's so many opportunities now where you can just – work from your computer at mm -hmm. home and you can work nights mm -hmm. and you can, you know, and you can be home with your kids during the day and you don't have to go anywhere, which I think is like such a blessing that we were born in this time to be able to do that. Oh, definitely. I know we are. I feel very lucky to be able to, to be able to yes. start blogging or start an at-home business and you're right. That's what it is. So yes. that kind of leads us on to our next question. Do you consider yourself a millennial housewife and why? Yeah, and at first I wasn't sure. I even looked up. I was like, well, I've always considered myself one, but what's like the definition of a millennial housewife? And I think it's like, you know, like born, I'm born in 86. So it's like right around, you know, being born during that time. Um, so I was like, okay, well, I fall under like the technical definition of <laughs> millennial housewife. But I think it's more than just the years that you were born. I think it's um, kind of your mindset and how you kind of manage your home now. Um, and it's so different now because we're working from home, we're on our phones, on our computers, and then we're raising kids, and then we're trying to, you know, make meals. And it's, I think it's a lot different lifestyle that we have as millennials, more than anything, more than just the year that we were born. Because I'm sure there's people that kind of fall into the lifestyle category that we do, but they weren't necessarily born into the millennial uh, time period, if that makes sense. Yeah, but I definitely. think it's very, 
it's a busy lifestyle. <laughs> it definitely is. And you're right, it is definitely a mindset. I mean, there are terms that are, you know, millennial is between, I don't know, like 1981 and 1992 or something. You're yes. coming of age in new millennium. But, um, yeah. but you're right, it really is a mindset. I know a lot of women who don't necessarily fall within that, but that are, you know, millennial housewives. And, and um, you're definitely right. So, um, and so, and you were saying that there, it's kind of a busy, you know, trying to balance work and home. So what yes. does your daily schedule look like? Oh my gosh. You know, and I am not the best routine person. So I don't really have like a full routine for my kids um, because every day I feel like it's so different, you know, and every day I kind of go off their energy levels. And, but I usually do a lot of my work at night. So that way there's not so much work that I have to do during the day. Oh, sorry. It's just getting a little fussy for me. <laughs> you want to take a moment and, and you know, yeah, go pause and I'll just. Or here, just give me just a second. I'll rock him. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. No worries. Okay. <laughs> well, this is kind of what being a millennial housewife and being a mom is all yes. about. Is you know. I know. Okay, I'm just gonna fix it for <laughs> the little one. So don't even worry about it. <laughs> So Katie has um, three little legs are flying, and I just don't, I feel bad. There's so much crying. In <laughs> oh no, it's okay. If you want, we can um, we can pause it and come back to it in a few minutes. You want to do that? Because I'll be able to get him to sleep, and then I think I can finish. Okay. Okay, sure. Call me back when you're ready, and we'll okay. take a pause and come back. <laughs> Thank you. Hey.